hello everyone so today we are going to work on two things how to capture an image in the game and then and export it into uh, a directory and then how to load that captured image into it directly so this might be the beginning of a uh, full photo mode so here when i press p a photo is taken and saved into into the saved folder and here if i come back and press L that captured image is loaded into this uh, canvas if you will so it's like a maybe this would be can be used as something in a, in a in game mechanic that where you where the player paint things so yeah that's what I basically going to do here so if I look at this way and take another photo and come back here load now you see the photo is updated here so we could if we are just dealing with in-game stuff we could easily do do that with uh, maybe a scene capture but here what's happening is we are actually exporting this into the windows into the file explorer file system uh, external file as external file and then loading the external file in the runtime into the game so that's the important thing here to learn Right, so before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects I have done in my channel from my Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access everything without any limits. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description. And this uh, tutorial is sponsored by Adam Ockler. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, so this is some map that I found in mark, uh, in the marketplace, but that doesn't really matter. All I have is just first person template here, so I can walk around this map. So it doesn't matter whatever the map you are using for this, for to follow this. So, all right, first step is I need a way to capture an image from the game so here let's create a new folder auto mod and then i'll add a new actor pp auto mod auto mod whatever you want it doesn't really matter and then i'll drag and drop this into the level like this so let me open this and here I'll in the begin play I'll enable input so that I can get inputs inside this blueprint get player controller like this then I'll add a keyboard key event or you can actually set up a input action too but let's just keep things simple so here all i need to do is take a screenshot for that we have take high res screenshot option so maybe yes for the resolution i'll give this and file name actually we can get the date time using this now this returns date time structure so if I split this, I can get the month, day, all these things. So maybe let's append and create a file name so that we don't run into any duplicate files. Just get the date and day and hour, minute, second okay now we're good yeah that should be enough and remove this pane so okay so here if i execute this a screenshot will be saved into the saved folder if we are in the runtime it would be saved into the documents uh, app data folder 
for this app but i i didn't really test it but that's what it says so it should work in the package game as well okay and let's test this all i need to do is uh, i already have this photo mode object in the level if i play the game and press p see uh, it's compiling maybe this should only happen in the first time when i press p and screenshot is captured here okay right now as i said a screenshot is saved into my folder in the saved folder this saved screenshots windows editor folder okay so a screenshot is there now the next step is how to load this and another thing is instead of using this file name if you use uh, some specific file name like this it will be overwritten in the uh, in the folder so here let me delete everything that i have and if i play press p now photo is captured with this image now here if i come back to the level and turn to this side and press p again see now the same photo is updated so it's overrides the existing file okay that's fine now how to load this so to load this let me add a play so that we have some object in the level to actually load the image let me rotate it like this and let's make it a little bit bigger maybe 1.6 by 0.9 oh it's related 1.6 by point now this is to match the ratio of the image that we captured and lock this three okay so it's here now and so what i'm planning to do is capture some photo here and then if i come back that photo should be drawn into this so right here let's create a new material m canvas and i'll make this uh, let's add a texture parameter photo let's call it photo and leave everything else as default values okay and then we need a way to load the photo from the from this directory so it's not in the content browser it's in a directory so to handle files we gonna have to use this file you file you utilities blueprint file utilities enable this plugin i have already enabled that but when you if you haven't make sure that this is enabled once you enable it you will have to restart the project and then yeah come back here so once you enable so now let's see i'll add another key event maybe l to load so what i want to do is i want to uh, get we can get project saved directory okay uh wait project saved oh what's the difference ff okay let me use this uh, but maybe this also working but i haven't used that before so from the save directory we need to find photos so 
when we say save directory we will give we will get the url to this folder but here in the screenshots folder we will have the photos so let me copy these screenshots and then i'll append screenshots to this and from here i do a find recursive so what this does is it recursively find all the photos all the files within this uh, given folder so since our photo in the screenshots also here it would find this photo as well so if you just want this photo and if you already know the uh, name of the file and everything you could just use uh, screenshots windows editor photo.png but i don't want to do that because in case i want to use a different name then it should automatically work so okay now here we can add a wildcard so i like something like start png so only the png files will be returned and from here let's say get a ref uh no maybe to be safe take this and yes let's get the first image that it returns and then i can use uh import file as texture 2 d now that we have a texture file so i need to set it to this texture parameter and then assign it to this plane so let me call this um, canvas just let's call it canvas okay and then here in the begin play canvas create dynamic material instance so as the source material i'll use um, canvas so that this material will be a, a dynamic instance of this material will be created and assigned to this uh, canvas static mesh and i'll promote this to a variable m m canvas right. and then here i'll let's get a reference to m canvas set texture parameter value and pass it pass this loaded texture and the name is this photo okay now right so this is what we have by default that's fine go here take a photo and the photo is saved now come back press l photo is loaded but it's upside down that's fine we can rotate it okay now play l wait l yeah see it's loaded so yeah that's all that's all i want to do in this tutorial so maybe later on we will extend this system into a full photo mode with the gallery and everything so you can take multiple photos and you can view them in a gallery ui but for now i'm going to stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and do let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in another episode goodbye